Meantime, some big news in biology. Japanese scientists have announced a new and faster way to make stem cells. Experts say the research could open a new era in stem cell biology. The new method involves taking cells from skin and blood and putting them in a mild acid bath until, as the researchers say, they're on the verge of death for about half an hour. Removed from the acid, the cells recover within just three days and come back to becoming very much like stem cells taken from human embryos. Up to now, it's taken several weeks to grow stem cells. The team is led by Dr. Haruko Obokata. I haven't simply dreamed this up to offer a solution to some sort of single limited problem. At the front of my mind is the desire to create something that benefits all of human society, not just now, but in 10 or even 100 years' time. Obokata has become a celebrity in Japan, but there have been complaints that the media has ignored her breakthrough to concentrate on the fact she's a woman. That coverage brought London-based writer Mayumi Tanamoto to post a blog attacking the media's handling of the discovery. We talked to her on Skype. First, we asked her to explain her criticism. It's my main concern was that uh, they, they put too much focus on that her personality and uh, her fashion and the way she dressed up, she decorated a lab rather than her findings. The articles which irritated me were the ones which used the buzzwords such as Rikejo. Uh, Rikejo is uh, the buzzword in Japan which indicates that uh, uh, women in science and technology and uh, it is getting very popular word but personally it includes discriminatory meaning and I wasn't comfortable about it and that's unacceptable. What's the connotation of Rikejo? The reason they use, uh, you know, the word leakage is that they still see that the women in the science and technology are peculiar, you know, tribes, and they see them like panda in a zoo. Like pandas in a zoo. What's been the reaction to the blog? Generally, that the people are quite supportive to my opinion, and uh, that is the reason that uh, I have got so many, you know, like from Facebook, and also that was retweeted. Mm -hmm more than 10,000. And particularly that the Japanese people living in overseas and those the Japanese women living in Japan are quite supportive. However, I have also got a comment from the, the Japanese middle-aged man and they are very upset about it. And that was Mayumi Tanimoto, a writer based in Britain who wrote a blog criticizing the Japanese media's treatment of stem cell researcher Dr. Haruko Obokata. Some experts say her discovery may be worthy of a Nobel Prize. Now on U.S. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV. Connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.